Hi everyone, Jonathan J. Reiner here from Wargaming Recon. Um, I thought I would record this video uh, because there's been a lot of responses and reactions and questions and comments to an update I put on social media earlier this week. And in that update, I had mentioned that our four times a week pandemic coffee break uh, was going, it is on hiatus until further notice and for the foreseeable future. And that's all I had said. I wasn't expecting that uh, people would have had, uh, that any of you would have the reactions to it as you did. Um, there were a lot of uh, people who seemed saddened by it, some people who seemed shocked, and then there were a lot of questions and comments about what does it mean? Uh, how am I doing? Am I okay? Is something going on? Do I need help? Uh, things of that sort. And uh, I had uh, joked, I was talking with uh, a buddy uh, after I put it up, and I joked that uh, people uh, must be happy now because they can have less of me in their lives and have uh, less of my craziness and my antics and everything, and that uh, this becomes less of a burden on everyone else. Uh, it seems that that's not how any of you view it, actually. Uh, that it appears to me as if you really do look forward to it and do uh, enjoy having it there. Uh, so I am really just so deeply sorry about it being like this. Um, this has become bigger than I thought it would have. I just expected that it would be treated no differently than what I've had to cancel them in the past. The reason behind all of it is that, uh, as I've mentioned before on pandemic coffee breaks, I have gone back to work. Uh, I'm there for part of one day a week and the rest I work from home. Uh, so that's really nice. The downside of it is, and <laughs> I'm sure you're thinking there's a downside about working from home. And the answer is yes, there is. Uh, the downside is I have uh, several gigantic projects that I need to do. And doing them from home is possible, uh, not necessarily as speedy as it can be uh, when I'm physically at my job although that's not always the case. Uh, it's mainly because a lot of what I do uh, involves, not to bore you, but involves uh, creating records and making uh, physical items findable online so that people may then use them when they come into my work. Uh, as you know, I work at a library, uh, so I deal with a lot of like physical, we call it arts and crafts kind of stuff to make things what we would call shelf ready, where the, the items we get then uh, be, get to made um, to be looked uh, as if they're all pretty and nice and shiny and new for when people want to use them. But then also we have to do a lot of stuff on the back end to make sure things are correct and are things uh, easily to be found either by people come in or by uh, staff members. And I have like thousands of these things that I need to do in a relatively short span of time uh, by the end of the month, I believe. And uh, the reason for that is, I believe, uh, it's not definite, but I believe as of July, we will be open to the public at some point. And I believe that means then I will therefore be back in the building full time. Uh, now things can change all the time because pandemic, right? But uh, that's what's going on. And then I have a shortened um, period in which I can do these things because I have um, paid time off that I need to use by the end of our fiscal year. Our fiscal year runs July 1 to June 30th, and uh, fiscal year is almost over. <laughs> so I do have some time I need to use, and I've taken some um, so that I can have a nice extra long Father's Day weekend coming up. Uh, so that really shortens it, but then I also have like two and a half, three days more I still have to use, and so I just have very little amount of time that I'll be able to get all these things done. And that means I'm going to be skipping my coffee breaks. <laughs> and so I won't be able to do 
uh, pandemic coffee breaks during this time period. And then on top of all of it, I'm gonna be creating video content for our children's department in which I'm going to be making videos recommending children's books uh, to people. Uh, so that'll be taking uh, some time for stuff. So this all just means that right now I'm not able to do the pandemic coffee break and I really am sorry about it. I hope to be able to resume it afterwards if I have any days that I am working from home uh, and we'll see how that goes. Um, if that ends up not being the case, then I will unfortunately have to go ahead and finally uh, end the pandemic coffee break um, for, well, until I can never, or if I can never resume it again. Uh, but honestly, we knew this day was coming. Uh, maybe not that it would be on hiatus right now, uh, but that's how it is. Um, like I said, I am very sorry for any confusion I caused or for uh, letting you all down. I, I just feel like I'm letting all of you down, especially those of you who really look forward to the coffee breaks and who've really uh, desired it and are saddened that it's on break for the time being. Knowing that the demand is there though means that it's definitely something I want to uh, resume as soon as I can and we'll see how that goes. Uh, so thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching this video. It's long now, it's almost seven minutes. And I hope that you are well, and that your families are well. And remember, very importantly, do not listen to Karen on Facebook. She tells lies, she's wrong, tells falsehoods. Tell her go do some color puncture. And good enough is good. We will get through this. I promise you, we will. And until next time, Remember, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how much time you're thinking, dang, that Jonathan let me down and I'm so mad at him, I wanna flip this table in anger. You know that you gotta, you need to, you have to keep on gaming.